It was hard. It's still very hard for me to write the Wicked Kid book. It's hard for me to come up with good jokes. And, uh, you know, it's hard writing. It's hard having a blank piece of paper and then trying to create something on it. You know? I think it's easier for a kid than a Good question. You're on a roll. All right. It's not fair. How many more for me? All? No, just two. No. <laughs> Greg and Rally tried to make a gigantic snowball. I tried to do that with my friend. And we rolled up this big snowball, and as it got heavier and heavier, we started tearing up the grass and the dirt in the yard. And so we made a giant like meatball instead of a snowball. Robert, I heard you wrote some, some spy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Do you want to make them into a movie one day? Well, they weren't, they weren't really scripts necessarily. They were kind of parodies. When I look back on that now, I was thinking, wow. <laughs> they were awesome. We actually had a movie idea, which was, uh, what was it called? Just Rowley? Yeah, Rowley with an exclamation point. <laughs> He's searching for his parents. It's right, like he gets... Wouldn't this be a good something. plot? It's that his parents go on a, on a trip to California. And then they... Where's gets, Greg like, in this? Off. Greg's He's in California. In and then he gets, he gets, like, dropped out. He falls out of the back of the car. And then he has to find his way home by hitchhiking across yeah. the country and making friends with people. Isn't and that a good idea? And the theme song, instead of Friday and the Rowley's, it's sort of like a Fred movie. Sort of. See, it that sounds like it. In a way. All my questions are done, so I'm ready. I heard you like to get close to on the film game while filming. Did you, did you play any pranks while doing Dog Days of Summer? I mean, I think I had the record for having 12 on one person. It was like each peg had, like, had a saying, but except it's like a paragraph sort of thing. Like it just continued to. Right. I mean, eventually someone find out because someone was trying to read it and the person turned around. But anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, I did pull a lot of pranks, definitely. Between Roderick, Devin Bostick, and I, I mean, we would just go at it and at it. I mean, I would just, the worst prank ever was he called and, like, said it was, like, there's this place called Jappa Dog downstairs, you know. It's like Japanese-style hot dogs in, uh, uh, in uh, you know, uh, Vancouver. So it's this little stand. And uh, I guess... Devin called and said, hi, this is Jack the Dog, we want to do a TV special on you or something. I was like, uh, okay, sure, and I went downstairs and obviously no one was there, but uh, he definitely got me. Yeah. Robert, in Diary of a Winter Winter Rally goes on a lot of vacations, did you really get to go on those places when you filmed the movie? No, they just put like little patches on the stay I'd been to. That would have been cool though. They actually sent me to those places. I mean, they, they sent me. They sent me there and the whole the rest of the crew. You didn't go? Oh. They just gave me the patches. No, I'm just afterwards. kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. We flew to London a couple of times. Oh, sorry. I we did actually I'm go just to London. Kidding. Yeah, we did with Jeff. That was really that was awesome. High five, Ryan. Stay in school, don't do drugs, and eat your vegetables. <laughs>